Can you see how I wear my hair? Very demure, very cutesy. Nicely pulled back and a nice bun. See, I don't do too much when it comes to to my art. I don't put too much on my face. Keep it very demure, very classic. You guys, I'm so in love with that trend. Hey girl, it's going to be a get ready with me and we're going to be talking a little bit. We're going to be getting a little bit more personal today. I'm so happy to have y'all here. This is definitely going to be a little bit of a get session, okay? And we are going to be connecting, connecting. So we're going to be getting into my dating life, possibility of me moving to another state, my weight loss journey, and everything that I've been going through lately in my life. I'm just going to be giving y'all an update. So if you're interested in getting in my business and creating the more beautiful, you can see now before we get into my business y'all i have to tell you about these earrings that i got from anna luisa and this bracelet i really love these pieces i've been looking for a bracelet especially a chain link bracelet like this for so long to go with my stacks because i just bought some beautiful bracelets for my upcoming vacation i'll be leaving in about two days and this is going to go amazing with that stack I love the Anna Luisa branding right here. I think it's extremely delicate and just, it really is a beautiful touch as well. Absolutely beautiful. Also, one thing I love about Anna Luisa is their packaging it is a sustainable brand. And with this, they actually provided a link that goes with this as well. If, if you just want a little bit more room, and, and it just shows that they take time to consider the people that's actually buying their product. And they just recommend that you go to like your local jewelry store so they can connect this link for you. I really love when brands take time with their packaging. Like I said, love the packaging. It's just like a magnet. It just opens and closes super easy. This is great for traveling. This is super easy to just like throw on a carry-on. And the texture is really nice. I'm a texture girl. So, so I love just good material. And this is high quality, okay? Along with this bracelet, you guys, I also got these beautiful earrings. And one thing I love about these is that it gives the illusion that I have two holes. Always wanted to get a second hole, but I honestly just didn't want to go through the pain of getting another one. So this is a great alternative for that. And I think the green just adds like another elegant element. Like it is very dainty, but it's also making a statement if you know what I mean. So, so these are gonna be like an everyday earring for me, honestly. Very classy. And Anna Luisa really prides himself on being extremely sustainable. Also making sure that your pieces do not tarnish as well. So if you are someone that's really interested in jewelry and having some pieces that's actually gonna last you, look into Anna Luisa. Click the link in my description box so you can get your hands on these pieces as well if you are new here you guys think about subscribing um to my channel so you can be a part of the club girl i do makeup fashion and i'm getting into vlogs as well and this year going into next year we are going to be getting into some self-development stuff to y'all because honestly <clears throat> I have been needing to work on my on my growth and that's what I'm really focused on this year. Yeah. And that's what I'm really focusing on honestly this year and next year is just self-development, my weight loss journey, um just making more healthier choices for myself. Really important to me to do that. I kind of been struggling with my weight for a while. It has been up and down a lot, especially with the summertime, like going to my family reunion, eating things that I don't typically eat. It's, re it's been really important to me to like deal with that because I have been dealing with a bit of body dysmorphia and just being really self-conscious of myself. Um, and it's been like that for a while. Even when I was smaller, I still, I always felt like I needed to change in some capacity. And now it has escalated to the point where it's like, it's not when, you know what I mean? Like I have to make changes and that's what I'm currently doing is just making the changes that I need to make honestly at some point I do want to get back into dating and I want to really be my best self I want to present myself in a way that shows that my most authentic self oh my gosh I don't want to go into it like being insecure and I would like to have like more of a spontaneous experience when it comes to dating and like if somebody hits me up randomly well first of all I'm all for playing dates I think that's great but having some spontaneity is something that I really look forward to so if someone hits me up and they're like hey like I want to go out I want to do something get dressed I do want to be able to not have to overthink 
what I'm gonna wear basically. Cause I used to struggle with that a lot in my past relationship, which is a part of the reason why I'm not in a relationship right now is cause it's just, I'm just not ready. I know at some point I am gonna wanna move on and start again. I'm doing my work. <laughs> That's what I can say. I'm doing my work to really show up in a healthy way. And I'm excited about the work that I'm doing. And I really want to stay consistent. And that's probably why I'm telling y'all about it. So I have some accountability. And also so I, I can help somebody else. Because I'm pretty sure there's somebody following me that struggles with self-image in general. And how they view themselves. And I want to be the one to tell you that, you know, you're not alone. You know, doing the makeup and everything is cute. But I don't want to have that kind of channel. I want to be able to connect with y'all more. And just tell you guys about the stuff that I go through especially as my channel grows i just want to get more personal and let and let people in a little more so we can connect and we can build community and support each other now i'm realizing that when it comes to confidence you have to work from the inside out and no matter how much weight you lose or gain it's an internal it's the internal work that's going to sustain you because you just have to love what you see in the mirror and you have to keep people around you that encourage you as well that don't you know make you question yourself but back to dating guys i am really interested to see how people date now i just wonder like oh my gosh y'all how do y'all do it like what what's the prerequisite like what's is it apps i was like talking to my sister i wonder what people do now like do people just get on apps because i don't know about that i'm so used to like meeting people in person i don't i don't know how i would like deal with that like an app like oh my goodness everybody's so crazy like the stories now are just insane like i don't know i guess i can't go into it with like a fear with like a fear-based mindset but my goodness y'all the stories that i hear man if you have somebody that you are locked in with honey it sounds like it ain't nothing out here that's all i hear i don't hear a lot of like positive things when it comes to like the dating situation so i have to say i'm really uh skeptical about that <laughs> i'm kind of nervous like girl what i might not be ready for that my husband is gonna have to come find me girl i want y'all to tell me in the comments like how do y'all like approach dating go outside like i don't see myself going to like a club to i don't know i highly doubt that i highly doubt that so i need some ideas on how you guys approach dating and let me clarify how do you approach dating like in your 30s it is not giving what it used to give for real and i don't know i've been thinking like dang should i start that's a lot my goodness like i don't know it's not nothing i ever considered before but <laughs> or i can move like i've been thinking about moving lately as well to be honest i've been really considering moving i actually been applying to jobs in an another state i've been thinking about it a lot lately like i just want to move this is a really pretty blush um and i just broke it i don't even know how that happened like the top came off I, and there's no way of like putting it back on i don't know i really want to see what else is out there for me if anything you know i kind of want to find out <laughs> i kind of want to find out and I'm sure it is. God would make that very clear to me. And so I'm not stressing about that. But I also would love to go somewhere just with like different opportunities as far as like a career as well. It's not really given where I am. You know, God is going to direct me to where I need to be, you know, because wherever I go, I know that it won't just be for me. It will be for like a greater purpose making a change that not only impacts my life but impacts the lives of you know other people that's given oh my god this is my first time actually doing this technique like this putting the blush on i saw it i'm pretty sure i saw it on tiktok or instagram but that's absolutely gorgeous a fun fact about me guys i really do not do not like a lot of people like and i think that's the reason why i have not had like a lot of relationships because every time i meet people it's like it's not it, it it don't click for me like i'm just i've never been the girl to like date a lot of people or like have like a lot of relationships because i do not like a lot of people like people turn me off so easily like it's crazy 
and I have tried, but it just, it never works. Like, it never worked. It never worked for me. Like, like I can probably count on one hand how many people that I've literally even remotely would give an opportunity to. I don't, I'm just not just going to date anybody. I'm not going to date anybody. And even if they are conventionally attractive, I would not date them unless I feel like, okay, hmm, I like them. There's something about them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so different. It's very rare. And that just is what it is. Where is my... Oh, no, here it is. Okay. So, yeah. I'm kind of liking this makeup look I'm doing today. I'm going to take this Milani palette and just kind of like bronze up the skin. Bronze up the skin, honey. You guys, I want you to also follow me on my TikTok. I'm going to link my TikTok and Instagram in the description box as well because when I'm not on here, I'm over there and I want y'all to follow me. So I'm going to be posting a lot on TikTok for my vacation this weekend. For blush, I want to do, I think I want to do the Juvia's Place, like, Volume 1 palette. I don't know. What you guys think? Hmm. We could try it. I'm going to take the orange shade, actually, and just... Yeah, that's pretty. If you don't have this palette, the Volume 1, you are a girl with melanin, pick this up for sure. Cute, cute, cute. So we're gonna add a little something to the lid. Just a neutral color. I don't really do eyeshadow like that anymore. I just like to put like a neutral shade on just to have something on the lid. And I'm just gonna lock my brows in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel, which is like my favorite. I always use this since I got it. I just like, I've tried other things, but this works the best for my brows. I love, love, love this. I recently did a, um, what do you call it? Brow blindness, like TikTok video, <laughs> TikTok video. And everybody was like, girl, you never had brow blindness. Like I was so happy because I've always been like obsessed with brows. The brows can make or break your look. I think I want to put a little bit of, um, like this white, is this even working? This white in my waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit. That looks crazy. So mascara i'm gonna use the which i probably already noticed i think this is probably everybody's favorite <laughs> benefit roller lash so we're gonna do lips y'all once i find my uh, oh here it is mac mac and chestnut we are going to do lips this is my favorite part this is when you see me come alive i don't know i just like a good lippy it's gonna bring that look together baby so let's see libra from juvia's place It's like a pretty new, peachy new shade. And I'm gonna take Milani in, this is in um, Peony? Peony? It's a pink shade. Now let's go back in with some liner, honey, cause absolutely not. It's like this side looks higher or something. NYX Fat Oil, and this is in News Feed. Now I'm going to go in with this Milani Fetish in Raspberry Peach, the beautiful lip oil that you also need. Beautiful. Okay. 
already pressed powder and this is in bronze glow because i want to set everything in Metal spray. I'm gonna highlight a little bit. I'm gonna send a little glow. Why not? Let me shade too. And I'm gonna put some black hair corner as well. Lighten it up a little bit. You guys, I think we are done with this makeup look. And honestly, it goes so beautifully with this Anna Louisa jewelry that I have on. Girl, y'all have to get your hands on this jewelry. And then the name of the brand sounds so cool. It's like, where did you get your jewelry from? Oh, just it just sounds so good to me it sounds so good to me so you guys i really enjoyed talking to y'all today and i do really have great insight on different topics so if you guys can help me out and just ask me some questions in the comments if you have like a dilemma or make sure that you are checking the description box for all the details on this beautiful look that i put together today for y'all and click the link as well to check out these beautiful anna louisa pieces thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.